Hi, I'm Joe Saunders with Miniature Landscape Hobbies, and in this video, we're going to look at an easy way to build aerials and antennae to go on your models. Aerials and radio antennae are an important addition to any model. In real life, it's pretty rare to see a military vehicle without an antennae sticking out of it somewhere. However, a lot of us that watch this channel are war gamers, including me, and aerials just have a chance of getting in the way. Not that one. That one. You see, when you're handling models, you have your hand coming down over top of the model, and you might just accidentally break the aerial off. So, in most cases, war gamers leave them out. However, if you're building a model and you're pulling out all the stops, such as you're participating in a competition, or you want the model for a diorama, sometimes it's just necessary to add them. Fortunately, there's a really, really easy way to make these, and they're so easy that if you do break them, you can always just get out your pin vise, drill a new hole, and start all over again. So, in this video, I'd like to share my method. It's pretty straightforward, but it is quite useful. Do be aware, though, that it does involve fire in the form of a lighter or some other heat source. So you do need to be careful, and in some cases, it's probably best to do this as a two-person operation. The only material you really need for this is a spare piece of sprue, preferably a tubular one, and a lighter or other source of heat. Now all you do is grab the sprue at either end, apply some heat in the middle, and wait for it to melt slightly. Draw the sprue out, forming a long melted aerial in the middle, and wait for it to cool. It'll only take a few seconds to cool, and when it's done, you'll have a perfect plastic rod with which to form your aerial itself. Now you can go ahead and paint it, and to make it easier, I clamp the aerial into a pair of forceps, and then get out my airbrush. I load it with some black paint and spray the aerial down. Because the aerial is flexible and it's not pre-primed, I make sure that I give the paint plenty of time to dry so that it doesn't flake off. Since I work with historical models, I want to make sure I'm putting the antennae in the appropriate spot, so I go and find some reference material. When I'm certain I've got it in the right position, I then get out my pin vise, load it with a very fine bit, and go ahead and drill a hole where the aerial should be positioned. When this is done, I take the aerial itself, dip one end in some super glue, and with a pair of tweezers place it in the hole I just drilled. Now you can wait for the super glue to dry, or you can spritz it with a little bit of super glue accelerant. And with that, you now have an aerial attached, and the model is ready. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Please remember that Miniature Landscape Hobbies is supported entirely by its viewers. Check out the links in the video description to learn about my Patreon and become a supporter of the channel. Or... There you can also take the link to my Etsy store where you can buy some of the projects that I cover in my videos. And please remember to subscribe. See you next time, and until then, remember to keep building life in miniature.